everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ages Plays Valheim. We're currently mining scrap metal, which is like the, our next stage. Now I had to cut the previous video short because I was running out of time and I was battling to get out of here. Okay, he's gone. So, let's grab this piece of metal. I can't carry more than 25 at a time. Oh, he's back. And I am heavily weighted. See, I knew there was a guy out there because we didn't kill him when I w ran in here panicking because my health was low. Not that my health is much better, but it's better than what it was. Okay, so this... I have decided I'm only going to, oh, where is this piece of iron going? I've decided I'm not going to get much more than what I've currently gathered. So this mound is nowhere near complete. But because I am battling with weight, as you can see, As you can see, I'm battling of weight, so I'm trying to just take as much as I can. We do have another stack in here, it's 30. So, we're going to run our answers off through this little face of horrors. That's the boss spawner. And the thing is, if I can't survive out here, I'm nowhere near ready to face the boss. Well, that was stupid. Didn't realize that drop was so high. There's also an abomination. Everything that she wants to kill me. There's a spawning camp right there, so that's why they keep replenishing their rings. And I'm trying very hard not to die in here. Oh, great. As you can see, oh, there's the abomination as well with all the Draga possible. Oh, look, more Draga. And it's an archer. Now, this would be like the worst possible place for me to die. Because there's going to be so many of these stupid things following me now. <laughs> this is pretty much how the last video went to. Okay, now for operation to retrieve my body. Luckily they would have run back. But it's still difficult to get in and out of here. Get my body. There we go. Because let me tell you, everything wants to kill you here. Another load of ore. I didn't actually mean to consume that, but it's fine. Okay, there's something killing stuff here. Let's grab this, it's free hide, yeah. But we can't carry it with us, even though we've got to do one more load. I'm not going to even do a full load. Oh. That's 
to hit him in my wagon. Okay, we're going to now get there and back very quickly. Throw that away, throw that away. Right. What did I do my jerky? My jerky is my health. Yeah, I can't face off against the abomination. See, so yeah, even though I didn't get my full load, this will do uh, for starters. It'll upgrade my gear to the next phase. Which is obviously what we want. And there's plenty more in this place to say that I haven't finished it. Twenty-three. That's all we can carry. Can I take that with me? Yes. Okay, that's all we need. Now let's get out of here. And we begin our long journey back home. Okay, let's try not run next to the abomination and stay on dry land as best we can. It's just I like to use that as core guys as my waypoint. See, this is also, like I said before, this is where they actually spawning from. Is that little camp there? But I'm contemplating if I should do at least try to get that last six that I've left behind. I can't fight in the work because it's swim animation. Oh, I'm more lucky than what I realize. That's a one star. Okay, he's not going to catch on fire while he's sitting in the water. Took a chance. I'm gonna try fight him. Because even if I die, he'll run back. Mm, that is nasty. And I'm actually, okay, says no skill drain, luckily. Okay, my body should be right here somewhere. There it is. So should I go back for that last one? Because we've got... 67 what's the time how are we looking yeah let's go for it what's the worst thing that can happen I can die trying basically
They say, I'm not too worried about actually getting entrails because we have that little village next to my base. Wait. No, I got excited. What am I killing off the spawn though? Oh. Doing that little maneuver has probably killed me. I'm going to try this. I wish there was like a button where I can say like turn around. Not so much turn around, but like just look behind me for a second. What? Oh, come on, why'd my weapon go away? Oh, I'm about to go in. Just to re replenish my health. See, now I'll be able to make these little green stands. That one. I need resources for that. Okay, let's go out. Oh, man. Not quite what I was expecting, but I managed to pick up everything. <coughs> I will not run without killing you. There we go, you're dead. Oh, that's where my honey went. I put it in the chest. Ideally, I would very much like to kill that spawners. Because the spawners weren't there, getting in and out of here would be so much easier. Okay, they're going to start ch chucking stuff at me. Oh, and there's a blob on that side. Let's go this way. They also alert creatures in the area to my sound, where I am, with their explosions. There's a lady right behind me. I'll try to jump onto the log to avoid the water. I managed to get my, my stuff, that's the main thing. Okay, so we're going to head home. It is night time. It is raining. Oh, there we go. I can actually sleep. That'll be better. We'll make the trek back in the light. At least the advantage is while I'm out walking, because I've cleared this path, I won't have too much of a hassle. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I can't see it because now it's raining and it's dark here. What was the point of sleeping to get put back in the dark? Okay, see the cart works nicely along this path that I made. 
I know you can't see the path nicely because of how I set the game. There's only one part that I'm worried about, and that's the stairs coming up here. Because I couldn't get the the path to come down, like a less steeper path. So I, I so I just let me just build stairs. Which is probably not going to work, but let's try. Stamina! Don't fail me! Oh, look at that, look at that, we made it. <laughs> Good thing I opted to only get this little bit that I'm carrying now and not more. Because that may have not worked if I got more. Uh, I'm carrying wood, yes. See, luckily what I'm carrying doesn't affect the weight of the wagon. And nor does it affect my stamina drain, but yo. So yeah, as you can see, I made this path. Works 100%. That was the only part I was worried about with the stairs, and we near didn't make it. I still have to make a path on the other side of the bridge that leads back to my base. But I wanted to do this metal run with you guys first. At least now uh, I will actually have better gear and things. There's our little our bridge, so we know we're halfway. For those that don't know, I built this bridge across the water. So probably half of it is underwater. But it's uh, I didn't have to run all the way around. And our base is sitting over there. So... I need to make, a, make like a tree and leave the only downside to this path I run here is as you can see when it's stormy like this I'm underwater if I'm not careful I can get washed off it happened a few times while I was building because I made this section too low but right now I'm hoping that the wagon will anchor me to the ground But all in all, I think I did a pretty good job on this. It is a hell of a lot easier since uh, the patch the other day. I think it's almost a month now that the patch has been out. So yeah. Uh, I still need to, like I said, I still need to make a, a walkway from here to there. So that it, I can like just run through, like I did on the other side. But I just haven't had the chance to do it as yet. But it will happen. See now this part I'm a little bit worried, I'm going to run out of stamina. Because I haven't cleared a path here. I've tried to chop as much trees down as possible along the path because uh, I needed wood to build. So that's how this area looks so open. Of course, as I say that, I run into a path that's not open.
but this is why I need to come through here and clean it up. Hopefully the boars at my base are now tamed so that I feel welcome in my base instead of like having these things shout at me the whole time. Okay, I'm turning myself around. Yeah, there's these two wild boars running around my base where I was building. I was like, oh, no, I'm just going to tame them, man. Threw a little fence around them and just started taming them. But they've been a little bit grumpy with me. They just don't want to tame. And the more I interfere, the longer it takes. I also have this very nice massive trench around the base. So any invasions they kind of get stopped at, at the hole. And this is currently my only way in and out. Where all these wagons parked at you. This one go here. I don't think I brought my. Uh, what you call it over? Oh my coal. This one go check. So I originally had a base down here, which was close to the the plain spot, where this is still close enough to the plain spot for me to do what I want to do. It requires me to do a lot of running back and forth. I oh, see I didn't bring up. That's fine. I just found when I was building there that the water kept coming into the base because it was so low. Now the water comes into the trench here, but it doesn't come into the base. sits over there somewhere there you go there's a little patch of water there so yeah let's melt out this iron shall we and I do have wood for these so even though I just went and grabbed some coal He's going to only hold 10. I don't know why I thought I could hold put 15 in there. I'm going to go grab some more coal and I'll be right back. Yeah, like I was saying, this is like my original base. Well, my second original base. But the water, the water just kept flowing in and I wasn't enjoying it. So what I'll probably end up doing is turning this into like my harbour. You can see my boat is still sitting here. And I did particularly leave all the resources and things going. There we go. I guess I managed to bring a whole lot of 
uh, stuff this time. So yeah, this is technically our forever base, which I will be improving over time. And where we're going to operate from. Still got lots to do in the game. Oops. It is still far from finished. There we go. Just learnt all the new recipes, new tools. Which is why we came at you. And the stone cutter, which is the most important of the lot. Because let's be honest, all the nice chests, everything, lots of new recipes. Because this is like the, it's not quite the end game, but it's very close to it. Like, I'm only on the third boss, for example. Uh, yeah. Now, the, the, the swamp area basically is quite a bit of a challenge, which is fine. We would like challenge in the game. But it's, it's like the hardest part. Some would say that the, sw the, the, the plains is harder than the, the swamp. But I personally feel that the swamp is the hardest part. Because while you're running around the plains, you can see what's coming for you. Sure, you'll, you'll get one shot shotted by the Deskidos. But it's nowhere near as rough as... Trying to navigate those swamps. But that's just my personal opinion. Oops, not that. We just want normal wood. I'm just trying to keep this going as best I can, even though it's going quite slow. Okay, I'm going to leave it for a moment. Once I put this iron away. See, now I can make the iron armor, but look how expensive it is. It's 20 ingots. Same with the axe, it's 20. And I think the pick, if I'm not mistaken, is also 20. Even the new bow. Yeah, pick is also 20. The pick is the important one for us. And here we've only got 17. So we brought 60 with us, let's be honest. We brought 67 back. So we know we can get three three items, but Yeah. See they're still taming over there. I can't even go near there. Once they're tamed, then I can see they're aggressive. Then I can start playing by here properly. I wish they'd give like a percentage, like how you are so much percent tamed. Like that would make life so much easier.
they did do one change which I'm not too happy about. Like before you could buy a chicken egg, right? For say X amount of gold. Now they removed the chicken egg from the, the merchant and added them into a mini mini boss dungeon. So unless you do the dun the full dungeon, you can't get the chicken egg. And I don't understand the logic behind that. Well, I suppose I do understand is they wanted to make it a bit more challenging because chicken meat is quite OP. But you know how hard it makes a person is playing by himself. Because it is in the plains. And it's not in all the plains, it's only in some of them. But you can speak to an NPC that will say to you, yeah, the chicken's in this location. Okay, so now... Oh, I took it off my inventory. <laughs> Overprepared. And I'm probably going to run out of stamina. Let's eat a carrot. Carrots are healthy. Like this is my cooking area. Uh, what do I need for carrot soup? Mushrooms. I should have enough. I'll send it in the wagon. It's all in the wagon. Yeah, at least I can make quite a bit of carrot soup. But it's more stamina food than anything else, which is a bit of a bummer. Though having stamina is a, is a great thing. So definitely not complaining about it. It's just, at this second, it's a bit of a pain. Okay, now to make the jerky. Like in my food department, I'm actually ahead because it's just me playing. I can pretty much set my head on my food department. But if there was like more of us playing, then it would be a different story. But I will be honest, uh, I kind of did it this way on purpose for the sake of YouTube. Not because I want to play by myself, but it's just easier for YouTube's sake. Does that make sense? Let's see, I've got all my food here. Any more jam jars? And that's my seed one, yeah. That's a lot of seeds. Uh, I'm on wait. Still very weighted because I need to replant the seeds, so I'm just gonna go here, put that in there. Uh, it's the coal that's making me weighted. See, what I want to do a quick little trick. So, because you can see it's nighttime, right? And these obviously are not running. So I want to go here. Take that, put that away, put that in there. It 
It's a little trick that I learned. So now that these are melting, right? It's night time, I can go sleep. So let's just put the remainder in here. And then instead of sitting there waiting for it to happen, I'm just going to go sleep. And when I wake up, it'll all be melted. If any of the pigs would work that way. Okay, let's put this here. See, I've got 20, but it's nowhere near as much as I, I really need. It's all, I suppose you saw how much I needed. It's 20 per item. You know, these are all melted again, which is nice. It's what we wanted. So now I'll just put this charcoal away. Like that. Because we're not quite finished melting everything, but we've got most of it melted. I need to put more lights on my base, apparently. Forced to run around with the torch in my own base. That's like an insult. Uh, I forgot to grab the cultivator, didn't I? Yep, totally did it. Oh, please don't tell me I left it at the other spot. I totally did. My hoe and my cultivator at the other base. Okay, what do I need to make another cultivator? Five core wood and five bronze. Yeah, now what happened was I took my, I took it to the other spot by accident. And because I wanted to lessen the amount of weight I was carrying, I obviously took it out of my inventory and put it down that side. Okay, we're nearly done here.
can't see them from here. Okay, now they're still making little hearty hearts. And with that, people, I'm going to end the video here. I will see you guys in the next one. You must all have fun. And have a fantastic day further. This is Aegis signing out.